hello guys welcome back to the channel today is a sad day i have a sad news to announce to you guys but on a good thing i'm gonna also give you updates on all the cars on the channel let's do this Perfect. Before I tell you about the sad news and the update on the cars on the channel, if this is the first time you stop by the channel, make sure that you subscribe, give me a like and browse the channel to see all the videos that I've published already, great content, great things about this car and the other cars that I'm going to mention in a second. Um, yeah, if you like what you see, make sure that uh, you know you stay here every Sunday, I drop videos, every now and then I would drop also certain videos during the week, but I haven't done that that much lately and that's just because i'm busy you know I'm, I'm i have a family i have a really high demanding job but i don't want to stop pursuing my dream which is this you know youtube thing i love it i love it and and that's why i like to share my passion of cars with you guys because when i talk to my friend they don't really care too much you know? but you guys care you guys ask me questions everything so i love that i love that and i'll say thank you from the bottom of my heart now let's go about the sad news yeah let me not make a sad face so the sad news is pretty simple i'm pretty sure you guys may guess it already if you watch some of my previous video i kind of hinted that on in on it i sold the mini cooper yeah i mean i do regret selling it because i love that car so much but it was just one of too many if you know i had the mini cooper I had this E36 M3 and I also have an F80 M3 and I needed to you know maintain all three cars it's only one me and then each car had a few things that I needed to do especially this car this car has a lot of things that I need to fix on I'm gonna give you an update because I've done a lot of things behind the cameras and I didn't even film and I'm gonna to explain to you guys why in a second so the reason why I decided to sell the Mini Cooper is pretty simple one space now I have a two car garage and it became so much challenging to always like trying to switch a car or whatever depending on what I want to do or drive. But the main reason really I think for me it was financial. I felt like I became a little irresponsible with my finances by just buying cars and, and I needed, I sat down and really reflect on really what I'm trying to achieve and I thought that maybe this was one of too much. So I had to give out one right i have to give it either this one or the mini cooper that's kind of what i decided to do no one forced me to do it or anything like that it's just because I, I like to be very responsible with my finances and i felt like i got a little crazy now because i was looking at the long-term goal what i'm trying to achieve in terms of like track car i felt like this car was more suited to be a truck car although i wanted to also make the e36 i mean not the e36 the mini cooper a truck car that car was great but all the things that i could achieve with this car i could not achieve with the mini cooper that's why i decided to sell it and it went to a fantastic 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 home and i know she's watching because she did subscribe to um to watch some videos with the mini cooper and things i have done on it so if you're watching this take great care of my baby please it's not your baby actually so yeah that's the sad part you know um i miss that car dearly i honestly honestly miss that car a lot a lot a lot in the future i swear if i have space and and a little more money to be more responsible i would definitely buy another mini cooper i swear i, I love that car so much if i didn't get this car that car will be here forever i swear to god now this is gonna stay here forever now let me forget about the sad part and just trying to make this now a more fun video so updates on the e36 m3 yes if you look carefully you will see that the mini cooper is now lowered yes it is lowered but the thing about that is hmm how am i going to explain that now let me switch the camera around so i can i can show you real quick yes i did lower the car but it, this is not going to be my final suspension this is was a more of a temporary solution because i had a little vibration coming from this side of the car on the steering wheel so i needed to change my shocks asap because you know this car has 206,000 miles and these front 
you know, coilovers that I had before, shocks or whatever from factory, were already shot, right? You know, they, they covered this car for the most of the miles, I would say, or all the miles, I would say, and I had to change them because the right quality was not as great here and I had a lot of issues, the vibration, like I mentioned. Now, the back, after I checked the Carfax, I saw that the back shocks were replaced 50,000 miles ago. So those one, although now they kind of have a lot of miles on them, but not compared to what I had on the front. So what I've decided to do is purchase a set of coilers was used from a guy here in the area and those are the max spinny rod yes i know a lot of people don't like them but i got that just for a temporary use while i raise money to get my actual good track suspension so i'm still debating on what i'm trying to get that's why i didn't really get that right away and also i wanted to make sure that i fix all of the issues on the engine before I start, you know, doing modification as far as suspension and fixing the front and things like that. Because I want to make sure that, you know, the heart of the car, which is the engine, is in good condition before I do outside modification, which will happen. Now, the funny thing now about the suspension is that the day that I went to pick it up, I found out that the rear suspension that the guy had were bad. So... I didn't want to waste on the deal because it was very, very cheap. I think I bought it for like $100, right? It was very, very cheap. So I decided, you know what? Let me just take the front. And he had BC coilovers for the back that he purchased on his car. But he didn't use the springs that comes with the adjustable springs that comes on the back. So what he did, he gave me that one so that I can put on the back. Because the ones that for the max spinning rod that he had was shot. So what I have on the car right now is, I would say, like a little custom weird suspension. So I have max spinning rod on the front. <laughs> I have the Bilston factory shocks with the BC Racing Callover Springs. Yes, crazy setup. I'm not even sure how it works, but it works. The ride is stiff as hell, bouncy a bit, but it works for now. I'm not sure if you can see, maybe if I have to take the tire for you guys to see the back, you can see my blue calipers there. Not sure if you can see that, the blue calipers, yeah, I love them. So it's in the back there somewhere, not sure if you can peep. I can see here, but I'm not sure if on the camera you will be able to pick it up. It's like right inside there somewhere, not sure if you can see. So that's the situation. Now, let me go ahead and open the hood and show you the next thing. The next job that I completed off camera on the car is to do the valve cover gasket. I did the valve cover gasket and because I was removing everything right here, I also decided to do the tune-up. Well, tune-up in my area, if you call it, is really changing all the spark plugs and all the um, coil packs. So I changed all of those, did the valve cover gasket, and guess what? Now, I no longer have an oil leak. I parked the car, drove the car pretty hard, you know, after like doing the valve cover gasket, waiting to see if I will have drops on the bottom, nothing. So all the oil gunk that you see here right now is what used to be here. So what I need to do now is just find a way to clean up all the grease and gunk that is here and a little bit on under and then my engine is going to look nice. Probably I'm going to hire a professional or find a way to do it. I'm not sure how, but... I'm gonna have to learn right this channel is about DIY so I guess I shouldn't have been hiring people to do the job for me yeah so no more oil leaks suspension is completed as you can see here you can't really see because I have this ECS tuning strut bar but if you remember these are different now these are the max spinning rod and tomorrow I'm gonna have to do a an alignment once I do the alignment they will uh, you know align this properly and fix one last issue that i have the fact that the car is always going to the left when i'm driving straight when i'm if i put the steering wheel straight it's always going to the left and also maybe i have to adjust the caster a little bit because as you can see here since i've completed the coilover change it's like my front tire is going to hit here but the funny part is that on the other side it's not too close like that so see the other side is different so I'm gonna explain that to them and hopefully they will find a way to, to do it. Now, when I lower the car, hmm, I lowered it pretty hard, man. Look at it. I can definitely have spacers. You have to kind of push the wheel out a little bit. Probably a 10 millimeter we do here, but you can see it's pretty low here. 
on the back side when i was adjusting that day i guess i didn't do a good job because the back here is not even when you look here you can see that it's not completely down compared to the other side let me show you the other side really quick if you look here you will see that it is further down it's almost about the lines here of the tire and also yeah remember i completed um the fender roll that didn't fix the problem my tires are still rolling so when i do the alignment i'm gonna have them add two a negative two camber on the back so that's gonna help here yep as you can see this one is higher right so probably after i'm shooting this video i'm gonna go ahead and remove that wheel and kind of adjust that lower that side a little bit before they do the alignment yeah let me go ahead and show you all of the issues that i currently have with the car there's a few of them left and also tell you what i need to do next on the car in terms of big job now one thing that i have not completed as you know is the cooling of the hole now my cooling is perfect the way it is right now that's kind of why i'm taking a little time to do it but one friend of mine recommended me to change this fan right here with the electric fan although that fan is working fine i recently realized that my auxiliary fan right here is not working it's broken so when i try to turn it when i turn the ac on this doesn't even turn ac doesn't work i already knew that so i need to change the ac compressor because it is completely shot and i already ordered the auxiliary fan is at home i just have to find a way to install it look at this carcass right here dead look at them right there dead the car is filthy dirty right now i didn't feel like washing it because hey man is a, is a work in progress so i'm working on it so much that i don't have time to wash it i've been driving the f80 a lot recently because this car has been on <laughs> jackson for some time every single day i come back i do half of the job that's kind of why i wasn't really also filming because i didn't complete all of these in one day i completed that in multiple days so for example i will come home do this suspension and then the car will just stay there then another day i will come and do the back over there so because i just wanted to find a way to do it correct it was always late at night and um yeah like 1 a.m in the morning or whatever that's when i complete all these things that's what i didn't really film i'm going to show you a little clip of when i was changing this right now so you can see valve cover gasket yep replacing it also going to do spa plugs and coils all today yes all right so you saw the little clip on when i was doing the valve cover gasket i didn't really film anything when i was doing the suspension now in terms of issues that i currently have oh lord oh lord oh lord oh lord let me show you first thing before even i open my wipers and washers are working on their own now they are totally ghosting me so anytime i turn on the engine the washer jet you see i unplug it right there because it fill out, it empty the tank the washer will just start shooting and because my washer was never connected here the previous owner somehow cut this it was like that so it was shooting right here Boop. and then it came right there and then one day i was just driving i saw you know water just coming down i was i was worried because i thought that maybe my cooling system fell on me or something but then the wipers were also you know doing their thing and then they never stopped so i thought there was a module that was bad so i replaced the module but now the issue is entering like right now if i start the engine it may do it or it may not do it so let's see all right i mean the car you can see this is the front let's see if it's going to do it and you can see the lever is down so if you want to show let me show you see i have all these up position for the lever so there's no other way i can go down right now i'm starting the car and let's see if it's going to do it see just doing on their own that's exactly what happened so what i do now is that i just keep it down like this unplug the module and then drive it the day that it rains i plug the module right away and use my wipers until i figure out how to fix this so right now i don't know how to fix it if you have any uh, comments on how i can resolve this issue please drop in a comment down below that will help me tremendously because this is so annoying it is very 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 annoying one other thing i have um, a check engine light but i know what the check engine line is about and i'm not really going to fix that that check engine line right there that you can see it's about the evap system 
So pretty much what is happening, I think something is wrong with a, let me show you really quick. Something is wrong with the system that is supposed to control when you put fuel, right? When the fuel becomes a vapor, there's a system here that's supposed to regulate that, make sure that, you know, that vapor doesn't go out of the car or something. There's something wrong about that. So the issue that I have has nothing to do with the engine. It's all about that. That's why I really don't care about that check engine like the day that i have to do the emission i'm just going to clear the code do my emission and if it comes back only god would know you know i don't really care about that one and now the abs issue that i had it seems like i have another one because my abs asc like comes back every now and then and yeah i also just don't care about it because it comes it goes it comes it goes i don't honestly care i feel like that's a small problem that i'm going to have to fix another time now the major things for me is really to do to fix that washer thing because it gets on my nerve when i drive do my alignment get some racing pads and take the car to a track first track event i messed up one of my stud kit as you can see here that's why i had to put the factory thing right here so i have to order one of these don't ask me how i messed up man user error total user error look at the blue calipers here looking nice yeah so that's really what's going on about this car things that i'm gonna have to do for the future definitely put a racing pad here so that i take the car to the track because i feel like the car is somewhat ready for a first track event now the first track event i'm not going to be going crazy on the track because i don't have all the things that i would like to have like a good suspension but at least i would the course that i'm going to take is where i'm just like following the instructor because that would be my real first day on the track i don't have any track experience so i cannot be you know i'm not going to be in the like a good class or people that have experience i'm going to be in a beginner class so i'm going to have to teach me all the a and b and for the track right the abc of the track that's what i'm going to learn but i needed a car that at least can do that with the way i am right now i think i can do that i just have to continue to work on the car to make sure that you know it is much better and better yeah things that i definitely have to have to clean up the engine so that it looks somewhat decent i'm debating if i should delete this so put it on a comment below if i should delete this should delete that one right there i don't know one thing i'm definitely going to do is remove this asc throttle so that i just have my normal you know throttle actuator right there because that's stopping some of the air and that will give me maybe 500 horsepower i'm not sure also i'm going to find a way to get a different air math sensor here maybe the one from the 540 so it's a little bigger so that i can get more airflow going to the car that's really all about the things that i'm going to be doing in terms of power uh probably i'm forgetting a few things after that you know i'm going to fix my ac because i do daily the car because i want the car to really comes back this car was sitting for the past two years that's why he collected some of the rust that you can see here and all of that which i don't care for now and i just want to make sure that the heart of the car which is the engine is is good updates for the e36 m3 as you know no updates for the mini cooper since the car is gone for the f80 m3 the only thing i've done is i put back my summer wheels and that's about it i've been driving around taking it to a few events but not really filming because the weather is really funny most of the event that i go to it always rains. like right now it's about to rain the weather in maryland has been crazy lately and making my plans really funny i started filming one event then it started raining and I didn't I stopped filming so I really didn't really plan on uploading that video. Yeah. So the F80 probably soon I'm gonna have to change the tire. So I wanna up my tire a little bit, maybe 295, 30, 20 for the back so that I have more meat instead of having a tire that looks a little stretch. Yeah, that's about it. And soon maybe I will be looking for parts because my warranty is going to expire next year and after my warranty expire as you know i'm going to start changing things on the engine side but i'm going to keep the tune the way it is right now i'm just going to 
change stuff that usually would fail on the F80. As you know, things that usually fail, charge pipes, intercooler, things like that. I'm gonna just gonna replace it with aftermarket version without tuning it. Now, maybe in the future, I can tune the car. I'm also gonna be saving money to really upgrade the suspension on F80. There's nothing wrong with the suspension I have right now, but I always, always, always wanted to have the M Performance suspension on the F80 M3, M Performance high adjustable suspension on the F80. So that one costs about 1200. So I'm really also going to save a little bit when the right time comes to upgrade that suspension from the EMD spring that I have. There's nothing wrong with the EMD. It's just the fact that if I want to take the car to the track, I feel like the M Performance suspension is better. I've seen a lot of reviews from people. I've talked to Tomiel Garage and he told me that because he has that suspension on his F80 M3 and he told me that that's the best suspension you can get. Since he has more experience on the track, I trust his uh, review. So that's exactly what I'm going to get for that car. For this one right now, I am debating between the ST, BC coilovers or the IS, ISP or IST, something like that, suspension. So one of these three is really what I want to get. My budget for the suspension for this one is $1,000. So I'm trying to find one that would be a good in terms of street, in terms of track. Also, or if I can find something that is lightly used, like more of a racing, lightly used, I'm also going to get that. But first, I need to have the thousand dollars, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's what I, I need to do for this one. But so far, so good with this car. Um, Crippen's car, oh man, Crippen's car is in the shop. He's changing the body. He's not. There was a little imperfection with the with the car in the front, like as far like paint chips and things like that. So he's fixing that on his car, making sure that, you know, the front is going to look nice. He's also going to repaint the whole front. I think he uh, fixed the bumper a little bit. Yeah, that's what Crippen is doing. So his car is at the shop right now. He's not even driving it. And every time he stops by the house and he sees my car manual, he's always jealous. So uh, yeah, I let him drive the car. And whenever he's driving this car, oh Lord. He's driving it hard, like hard. My neighborhood hits him. Like I know because someone told me, man, there's a guy driving his, his car here, it's always loud. Maybe it was me, but I'm going to blame him Crepin because he's not here. And probably when he watches this, he's just going to kick me when we play soccer. Yeah, so those were the updates for the cars on the channel. Thank you again. Thank you again for all the support that you guys gave me. I'm almost at 600 subscribers and I, I can never say enough thank you to you guys because i have this passion and you guys are really encouraging me with all the comment all the love that you guys are sending my way man i uh, thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart i love it i love it i love it and without you guys i swear i will not be able to do this because sometimes it's it's challenging you get home you are tired but then you remember that you have people that are waiting for you to drop a video it gives you courage to go ahead and film to go ahead and do things because sometimes I don't feel like filming for example and when I know that oh man Sunday is coming I need to post something and I haven't I don't even have any video it gives me the courage it gives me it let me push my limit you know sometimes I'm under the car working here at 1 a.m. just because I want to make sure that on Sunday I have a video for you guys you guys are encouraging me you guys are pushing me to complete this build and really I cannot thank you enough the day that I take this car to the track man I will be so excited so 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 excited so probably that's going to happen in august um i wanted to go with crepin we wanted to make sure that his car is also ready so he can take uh, his 335 to the track hopefully his car will be ready by then we haven't worked a lot on it since he has he's at the shop he has a lot of parts that he ordered that are sitting in his house but he cannot install because the car is at the shop so we have to wait whenever we get the car back yeah man those are the updates of the cars on the channel and if you have anything you would like me to do on this car or any recommendation or things that i need to do on the car as far as track since i have like zero experience feel free to drop in the comment below also if you know how i can fix that windshield washer issue please drop in the comment below that will definitely help me also if you know what i need to check maybe even for the abs any things that i've mentioned here as far as issues if you know how to fix them please 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 let me know in the comment below that will help me a lot i'll probably film because i'm pretty sure there will be someone out there who will have these same issues and that will drive them nuts yeah man 
This car is a true, true, true legend. This car is exciting. Probably I need to do a video about the five things I love about this car and the five things that I don't love about this car. Actually, <laughs> things that I don't love about this car is probably more than five, but I'm going to keep it to five. I need to do that video for you guys, also do a POV video because I've been working on the car so much and driving when I just go to work. I haven't even thought about doing a POV video. So I need to do that next. I need to do that really, really quick for you guys, you know, for you to see how I'm driving the car, to see how it feels to be on the road and things like that. Yeah, I need to do that. Probably uh, if I have the chance tomorrow, if it doesn't rain, I'm going to do that video for you guys and it will be coming soon. So yeah, stay tuned and again, thank you for all the support. May God bless you watching this right now. Thank you. Bye-bye.